Item number SCP-003. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures, SCP-003. Is to be maintained at a constant temperature of no less than 35 Celsius, and ideally kept above 100 Celsius. In event of total power failure, assigned personnel must use their body heat to keep SCP-003 above critical temperatures. All personnel who have come in physical contact with SCP-003-1 are to immediately report to sterilization afterwards. SCP-003-1 must not be removed from SCP-003-2, except in cases of emergency of procedures detailed above. Significant change in SCP-003-2 rune activity, including pattern, frequency, or color, should be reported within three hours of occurrence. Cessation of rune activity must be reported immediately. SCP-003-2 must be supplied with power via source-designated generator 003-IX at all times. Refer to attached documents for details. Description SCP-003 was located by a remote viewing team. SRV-04 Beta. See attached documents. SCP-003 consists of two related components of separate origin, referred to as SCP-003-1 and SCP-00-2. SCP-00-1 appears to be composed of chitin, hair, and nails of unknown biology, similar to detected, arranged in a configuration similar to that of a motherboard. Testing reveals that SCP-003-1 to predate earliest known circuit boards by redacted. SCP-003-1 is to be considered sentient, but not actively dangerous except under certain conditions. See addenda and attached documents. SCP-003-1 was found attached to a stone tablet. SCP-00-2, on which it currently resides. The runes on SCP-003-2 are not part of any known language, and flicker in pale tones. These are the effects of communication, interpreted by Data expunged. Analysis has shown that SCP-003-1 and SCP-003-2 have different origins. SCP-003-2 is controlled by a non-biological internal computer, the contents of which are mostly inaccessible without risk of damaging SCP-003-2. SCP-003-2 is capable of controlled emissions of radiation, including heat and redacted. It is considered portable that SCP-003-2 was created purposes of containing SCP-003-1. Methods detailed in Amendum 003-01 have allowed access to some data contained in SCP-003-2. While interpretation is not conclusive, contents may refer to the past and or potential in future a class reconstructing event caused by SCP-003-1. SCP-003-2 contains an eternal power source of data expunged, which appears to have been losing power since before discovery by SRV-04 Beta. It appears possible that SRV-04 Beta was deliberately contacted by SCP-003-2 via data expunged. Other organizations have also been alerted to SCP-003's existence possibly by similar means. Despite this activity, SCP-003-2 does not appear to be sentient, based on redacted and its lack of reaction to redacted, including M03 Gloria procedures. When SCP-003 drops below the temperature of 35 Celsius, both components react. First, SCP-003-1 enters a growth state characterized by an exponential increase in mass. This growth state consists of two stages. In both stages, SCP-003-1 partially fuels its growth by converting matter around it, starting by surrounding inorganic material, including atmospheric elements, then non-living organic material, including cells of dead skin, hair, chitin, enamel, creatine, and other biological materials. This first stage is the default stage. The second stage begins when SCP-003-1 comes in contact with living organic material. In its second stage, SCP-003-1 may pause, slow, or change its growth, and also will reprocess inorganic and non-living organic elements into functionally similar structures while data expands.
While growth is consistent in the first stage, in the second stage of SCP-003-1's growth is diminished by 20 to 90 percent, so long as SCP-003-1 remains in contact with living organic material. This percentage is determined by the complexity of the organisms in contact with SCP-003-1, as confirmed by Redacted. readings. SCP-003-1 appears to devote a large amount of processing power to analysis of living organic material. During each of SCP-003-1's growth stages, SCP-003-1, SCP-003-2 releases bursts of radiation that temporarily inhibit SCP-003-1's growth, or reverses growth when temperature of SCP-003-1 rises above 100 Celsius. Similar radiation emissions may be produced via Data expunged. Addendum 003-01. Acting on information gathered from linguistic analysis of SCP-003-2's runes and Data expunged. Research Team M03 Gloria has managed to establish a link between SCP-003 and Data expunged for analysis of functions. SCP-003-1 must now be considered sentient as to be kept a minimum of one kilometer from Data expunged and the resulting byproduct at all times. Amendum 003-02 SCP-003-2's power loss has been exacerbated by procedures performed by M03 Gloria on orders of O5 and M03 Gloria will, will continue procedures. Anendum 003-03 Data expunged. During this process, SCP-003-1 doubled its mass and began rapid structural growth. Temperature was immediately returned to 100 Celsius. Growth and mass increase of SCP-003-1 continued for 9 minutes and 6 seconds, at which time sustained a radiation spike produced by SCP-003-2. In response to SCP-003-1, returned to its normal state in 3 minutes and 39 seconds, new growth dissolved into a dusty residue which was collected for analysis. Both SCP-003-1 and SCP-003-2 ceased all detectable activity. SCP-003-1 did not resume activity until connected to Redacted. external power source. SCP-003-2's runes glowed uniformly gray and did not resume normal activity for three hours. Afterward, Data SCP-003-2 no longer appears to be able to maintain containment area at temperatures above 35 Celsius without external power source supplied by Redacted. Designated Generators 003-II through IX. Amendum 003-04. The procedure details in Amendum 003-03 was repeated and SCP-003-1 again entered a growth state. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds, SCP-003-2 again produced a sustained radiation spike. SCP-003-1 growth stopped for after 10 minutes and 13 seconds. SCP-003-2 once again sus produced a sustained radiation spike. SCP-003-1's growth stopped for 36 seconds and then resumed its previous pace. On quadrupling its mass, SCP-003-1 formed a coherent outer shell and body, which initially took a form similar to a shape of an orthogonoid brittle star of 15 meters in diameter, included what appeared to be a central processor of 3 meters in diameter, formed sensory organs that appeared to scan the surrounding environment, and partially converted the containment area to redacted. SCP-003 then breached containment, entering the observation gallery where nine members of M03 Gloria were present. On physical contact with the team members, SCP-003-1 entered stage two of its growth. Data expunged. SCP-003-1 stopped its growth for 15 minutes. SCP-003-1 then resumed growth, and then rearranged its component parts of its center of its form to the shape of a three meter tall female humanoid with peripheral tentacles shifting to extrude primarily from SCP-003-1's newly formed hair and spine. SCP-003-1 
then produce rudimentary vocalizations and data expunged. An unknown Caucasian female later identified as redacted approached the compromised containment area in company of a full squad of agents. Redacted claimed to be acting in orders of O5 and attempted to communicate with SCP-003-1. Data expunged. Agent of M03 Gloria successfully restored power to SCP-003-2 and activated backup generators to return SCP-003-2 and activated backup generators to return temperature to 100 Celsius. SCP-003-1 returned to its normal state in 21 minutes and 7 seconds and successfully recontained without incident. All nine members of M03 Gloria affected by SCP-003-1 were afterwards found to be physically unharmed. No residual effects besides minor psychological trauma. The converted materials of SCP-003's former containment area did not dissolve and now are under analysis. Amendum 003-05. In light of the previous incident, O5 data expunged. By joint decision, O5, O5, and O5, all M03 Gloria procedures have been indefinitely suspended. Agents, final thoughts. We really need to invest in better backup. Ah, another one we pray generators never fail.